morning, everyone. It's Thursday of the first week of the year. We begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You know, we all have different gifts and talents, likes and dislikes, and yet we come together as the people of God. So as we begin, let's kind of reflect for just a moment on what we have to offer and what God has truly blessed us with. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us for the sin we have committed. Bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Amen. One of our intentions is for good health and God's blessing for Rose Marie Timmick. So let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in the hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace so as to become a dwelling place to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. The Philistines gathered for an attack on Israel. Israel went out to engage them in battle and camped, camped at Ebenezer, while the Philistines camped at Aphek. The Philistines then drew up in battle formation against Israel. After a fierce struggle, Israel was defeated by the Philistines, who slew about 4,000 men on the battlefield. When the troops retired to the camp, the elders of Israel said, why has the Lord permitted us to be defeated today by the Philistines? Let us fetch the ark of the Lord from Shiloh, that it may go into battle among us and save us from the grasp of our enemies. So the people sent to Shiloh and brought from there the ark of the Lord of hosts, who was enthroned upon the cherubim. The two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, were with the ark of God. When the ark of the Lord arrived in the camp, all Israel shouted so loudly that the earth resounded. The Philistines, hearing the noise of shouting, asked, What can this loud shouting in the camp of the Hebrews mean? On learning that the ark of the Lord had come into the camp, the Philistines were frightened. They said, Gods have come to their camp. They also said, Woe to us. This has never happened before. Woe to us. Who can deliver us from the power of these mighty gods? These are the gods that struck the Egyptians with various plagues and with pestilence. Take courage and be manly, Philistines. Otherwise, you will become slaves to the Hebrews. So they were your slaves. So fight manfully. The Philistines fought and the Israel was defeated. Every man fled, fled to his own tent. It was a disastrous defeat in which Israel lost 30,000 foot soldiers. The Ark of God was captured and Eli's two sons, Hophni and Phinehas, were among the dead. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. Redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. Yet now you have cast us off and put us in disgrace and you go not forth with our enemies. You have let us be driven back by our foes, those who hated us, plundered us at will. Redeem, Redeem us, Lord, Lord because, because of your, of your mercy. mercy. You made us the reproach of our neighbors, the mockery and the scorn of those around us. You made us a byword among the nations, a laughing stock among the peoples. Redeem, Redeem us, Lord, Lord because, because of, of your, your mercy. Mercies. Why do you hide your face, forgetting our woe and our oppression? For our souls are bowed down to the dust, our bodies are pressed to the earth. Redeem, Redeem us, Lord, because, Lord, because of, of your, your mercy. mercy. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to Lord. A leper came to him and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched a leper and said to him, I do will it be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, see that you tell no one anything, but go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Good morning, everyone. So today's gospel passage, Jesus is teaching us really, I think, two things if you look at that gospel passage. Number one is that that healing that took place for the leper needed that personal touch, that touch of Jesus. So I thought about that a little bit, you know, and I thought, you know, the pandemic's flaring up again, and we, we kind of miss 
that personal interaction with people. You know, we remember at the beginning of the pandemic and the isolation, and it was very difficult. But I think we have to find creative ways around that. We need to stay in touch with people. We need to care for people who maybe have a little bit of a harder time. We need to check in with people, no matter how it is, whether it's a phone call, an email, a text, a Zoom call, any kind of thing, you know, if we can't see them face to face. That so personal touch means a lot to everyone. We are not created to be isolated from people. We are created for one another and with one another. So I think that's very important to think about as we begin our year, you know, let's reach out to those maybe who we haven't seen in a while. Maybe we miss them around the holidays. That's what we need to do to stay in touch with people, be creative. That personal touch is so important in our lives. The second thing is that leper that had that faith and the courage to ask for that healing of Jesus, to kind of get down on his knees. So I'd like you to think about that as we begin the year also, to have that faith and that courage to ask Jesus for that healing. Because that question, you can heal me if you will it. What did Jesus say to the leper? I do will it. He wants to heal us. God wants to show us that love, that mercy, that forgiveness. I think we need to show ourselves sometimes a little bit of that mercy and forgiveness and for other people as well. But I think, you know, we need to concentrate on ourselves at the beginning of the year, like I said. You know, we want to get better. We want to do a little bit better. We want to keep in touch with people. We want to have that courage to ask for that healing that we need from Jesus. God bless and stay safe, my brothers and sisters. For our church, may it always be a community that shows God's love, God's mercy, and God's forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are lost or struggling in life, especially during the beginning part of this year, may they find themselves and draw closer to God, who is love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who experience any hardship or sorrow, may God provide them with love and compassion with the help of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who risk their lives in order to safeguard and serve others, may they be protected by God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they come to share in the resurrection of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for continuing to guide our efforts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to give you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the, May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands. For the praise, praise and the glory of his name for our good and the good of God's holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to you may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. For our, Father, in goodness you created us, and when we, he justly was condemned, in mercy you redeemed us through Jesus, your Son. So once again, we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one 
by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. Remember Jean Zeza, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, God you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed all those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Humbly we ask Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing truly guide this journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone. Same to you, Monsignor. Thank you.